How's everyone doing? Today I wanted your opinion on what two movies I should watch tonight. I've got six titles, one a TV show, but let me know what you're watching tonight as well. I'm feeling indecisive and I'm trying to go through some titles that I haven't watched before. So all blind buys right here. And again, one TV show, I figure I could knock out a couple episodes from that one. But I was also thinking about possibly watching a Netflix movie, Day Shift, with uh, Jamie Foxx and uh, Dave Franco and Snoop Dogg. That looks like it's going to be a good vampire comedy movie. And there's a movie that I think is so underrated on Netflix. It's called Blood Red Sky. It's a German vampire movie. That one is so freaking slept on. I've mentioned it a couple times here and there, but I want to do a full movie review for it because it deserves it. It is an incredible vampire movie. And I never hear anybody talk about that one. Uh, definitely check that one out. Again, German vampire movie, Blood Red Sky on Netflix. Check it out. High recommendation. One of my favorite recent vampire movies. But let's go ahead and get into the titles. Uh, we've got Cuffs right here, which I recently picked up from Shout Factory. It's a Shout Select title with uh, Mila Jovovich and Christian Slater. Looks like it's going to be, uh, you know, kind of coming of age romance movie uh, where he's a police officer and has to battle corruption and stuff like that. Uh, I like Christian uh, Slater during this time period. He did a lot of fun movies like Pump Up the Volume. He also did Heather's True Romance, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Uh, he did Gleaming the Cube, which was a really good uh, skateboard movie. Does anybody remember that one? That one really needs a Blu-ray release. I don't think it even has an official DVD release for that matter. But he did uh, Legend of Billy Jean back in the day, too. Uh, Tales from the Dark Side was in one of those segments. Uh, Young Guns 2, uh, Broken Arrow. A bunch of great movies that I loved during that time period. Let me know what your favorite Christian Slater movie is. And he was really good in the TV show uh, Mr. Robot. Uh, excellent performance there. Uh, so definitely looking forward to checking in this one out with uh, the cast here. I'm expecting some humor, too, because I feel like a lot of those roles that uh, he was in during that time period, he added some uh, levity uh, to a lot of the scenes in there. So looking forward to uh, checking that one out. Uh, next up is an Indonesian film. Uh, it's called Pre-Man Silent Fury. And one of my favorite action movies of all time is an Indonesian action movie called The Raid. And I'll take The Raid movies over the John Wick movies any day. Uh, so this looks like it's going to be pretty intense and action-packed. Uh, this guy who was a... Uh, gangster, former deaf gangster, uh, he, his son witnesses a, uh, uh, an attack by a crime boss, and so he's trying to save his son from former allies, so, uh, he has to fight and keep his son protected, and, uh, it looks like it's gonna be just crazy balls to the wall action, and I dig it. Uh, next up is Side Out, which is a Mill Creek release. I love what they're doing with those retro VHS slip covers. I say this all the time, if it was another company releasing those retro VHS slipcovers like right there, uh, you're looking at 25, 30 bucks instead of like 10 bucks. Uh, and this is a volleyball coming of age movie, it looks like. It looks like there's going to be a romance aspect too with C. Thomas Howell in here. Uh, you've got Peter Horton and then uh, Courtney Thornsmith is in here, who I remember having a big crush on her when I was younger, especially uh, from the movie Summer School. So, uh, you know, that cover alone uh, attracted me to this movie. But uh, it looks like it's going to be, you know, an 80s cheese fest a bit. Uh, but I don't know too many volleyball movies. You think of like Top Gun for uh, certain scenes, but uh, it looks intriguing. So looking forward to checking that one out. Next up is a Disney Movie Club exclusive right here. It's the Toy Story 4 movie collection. It has a really nice embossed slip cover. Uh, I haven't seen the fourth one with Forky. I feel like I've seen uh, mixed reviews on that one. Uh, <laughs> The Forky character looks a little ridiculous, but uh, I've seen the other ones in the franchise. Let me know what your favorite Toy Story movie is. I feel like everybody chooses one or three, uh, but uh, I haven't seen the fourth one, so I'll be checking that one out and checking Forky out. And then we've got an Australian movie called The Tracker, and uh, this is about an Aboriginal uh, like murder trial kind of case. They're like hunting uh, him, and they have a tracker, and uh, this is set during... Uh, you know, the Outback in 1922. And I've always been fascinated with Australia and the Outback especially. Uh, just uh, just how expansive it is and also how isolated it can be. And I especially love like uh, Australian horror movies that deal with the Outback. Uh, so there's some really good ones out there. Wolf Creek, of course. And uh, the second Wolf Creek movie I thought was an amazing like uh, horror sequel and action horror. And uh, I know there's a TV show for it too. Uh, I'd love to see it get another sequel in that one. Such an iconic character. And uh, I got to actually uh, 
interview uh, John Jarrett back in there was a very brief interview, uh, but it was still cool to do. It was like my first, you know, bigger, uh, you know, actor uh, interview that I did. But uh, again, this one uh, looks intriguing to me. And again, I love hearing the history of Australia too. Uh, next up is the, the TV show and it's Yellow Jackets. I've heard rave reviews for this one. It sounds like to me, it's going to be like a female version of Lord of the Flies meets the movie Alive. Uh, with uh, Ethan Hawke, the plane crash uh, movie. But uh, it has a great cast in here too. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, again, uh, this, I feel like if I watch this TV show, I can knock out a few episodes of it. And I've heard a lot of uh, great things for this one. So there you go. Those are the six titles. And then I was also kind of curious about checking out Day Shift on Netflix. Let me know if you've seen any of these movies and what you think of them. And let me know which two I should watch tonight. Uh, or if it's the TV show you recommend you know, maybe some, a uh, few episodes I can knock out of that one. Let me know if you have any other movie recommendations for me to check out or TV shows for that matter too. There's not a lot of TV shows that I watch right now. Uh, leave me those recommendations down below and then your choices too from these uh, six right here. And let me know what you're going to watch tonight as well. Uh, leave me those comments down below and I hope everybody's doing well. Take care.